Okay, so uh, to start off building uh, this project, the first thing that we'll do is we'll do Yarno global add uh, view slash CLI. That's how we install the view CLI into our uh, project. And uh, even if you had like an old version of view CLI, this will make sure that you get the most updated version. So we have got view CLI installed. We'll do a view create a uh, real world uh, view so this uh, creates a uh, a new view jsf i think i had to rename it as uh, in short uh, in uh, small case uh, so i'm gonna uh, have to select the features that i need when i'm gonna start off with the vue.js project i have a few uh, diff presets out here and when you are building a vue.js app for the first time you won't have these presets so what we'll do is I uh, will just select uh, manually select features. So I need a Babel uh, to be able to transpile my uh, source code to from ES twenty fifteen to ES five so that it can run on the old browsers. I will add support for uh, the router and the uh, view X. Uh, a, a having a linter is uh, good and having unit testing is also a good habit. Uh, I will install E to E as well, uh, so end to end testing. I think uh, it uses Cypress for that. So I'll have all that setup uh, done. Um, CSS preprocessors, I think we won't be needing any because we have a CSS file uh, completely as it is that we need. Um, so let's just go to the next page. Uh, uh, will we use history mode for the router? I'm going to go with no for this because I want to use the hash routing because that's what the existing projects that they're using. They're using hash mode for the routing. But this is something that we can you know change very easily later on. So I'm going to no here. Uh, so uh, I'll go with ESLint uh, and Prettier. I think Prettier is a very nice uh, uh, set up for formatting our code you can select the airbnb or the standard config it's completely up to you i'm selecting this is basically code linting so how your code is going to get formatted i really love prettier so i'm going to select uh, prettier out here and uh, so lint on save or lint and fix on commit so i think i'll go with lint and fix on commit uh, every time uh, yeah and every time i save it's gonna lint it's lint and fix and commit uh, so uh, unit testing solution, uh, I, I mean, I don't know, you can use a lot of them. Uh, I'll just uh, pick Jest because Jest is what's more common these days. Uh, most of the people are using Jest. Mocha and Chai is uh, not bad either. Mocha and Chai pretty good, uh, but mostly like backend code uses Mocha and Chai uh, more. Jest is getting used by React and Vue uh, a bit more. So I'm gonna select go with Jest. Uh, so end-to-end uh, -end testing solution, uh, let's go with Cypress. So uh, Cypress is what most of people are using these days. But if you use Nightwatch, then you can test it on uh, Firefox or Chrome or Internet Explorer, all of them. If you use Cypress, then you're testing only on Chrome. Uh, I think that's good enough for our needs. It's a very simple project. Uh, and uh, we would prefer to keep all these files in dedicated config files and uh, there you go. So it's going to uh, create a folder, uh, install all of these dependencies, install my package.json file, and we have a basic setup to start with. Um, so then what we'll do is we will uh, fetch this um, CSS file from uh, from demo.realworld.io slash main.css. Um, so we will uh, we want to use of course uh, this uh, the CSS so uh, let, let just just install stuff finish and um, as a code editor I think you can use anything that you want to uh, I think I would be preferring to use VS code VS code is uh, what is the most uh, commonly used uh, editor these days so um, let's just wait till all this installation uh, stuff happens. What we will make is we will make some, um, uh, we, we, we need these components called a header and we need this component called uh, footer, which we'll need in every project. We will create pages for home. Uh, so that's my homepage. Uh, then there's this uh, login and register page. We have a 
profile page uh, and we have settings page we have a create and edit article page and we have the article read page like this is the page where we read uh, about the articles um, so i think it's pretty much good uh, we, we can just start off with these pages and then just uh, inject all our uh, you know dynamic data into that uh, using vuex and getting the stuff from the api uh, okay so this installation might take a bit of time let me just uh, do is open uh, you know uh, vs code uh, on that location so uh, when you're using uh, vs code with a uh, you know a vue.js project it's good to have this extension uh, out here which is uh, v-e-t-u-r vetur it's a uh, extension that uh, helps uh, you a lot with Vue.js projects. It's a very, very famous extension. As you can see, almost 6 million downloads out there. So uh, it gives you uh, syntax highlighting, uh, snippets, emit completion, formatting, auto completion, debugging, all that support for Vue.js. So a very nice um, extension to have out there. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, so is the installation oh so it's still installing uh, so let, let, let all this installation end and i think uh, we'll move on to uh, actually starting off with uh, our uh, components and our uh, uh, you know routing and all of that part in the next video